Good morning everyone, welcome back to another day, it is just after 10 o'clock, Scarlett and James just come back, Scarlett got a message at 20 past 9 as they got all the way to university and said that all the class, all the lessons this week's cancelled. So she's not interested week. Anyway, that's that. I have to make a coffee. I ain't got I haven't had a coffee yet. So we need a coffee. But which coffee shall I have? <laughs> Do I have the white mocha? Or do I have toffee nut latte? I think we're going to try toffee nut latte. Right, so that is the stew meat on. Uh, we've got a bag of stew meat and a bag of steak that's gone in the same pan. There'll be enough for tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to make some dumplings so whatever's left will be put in Tupperware balls and then it can be reheated tomorrow. Uh, potatoes is cut there on top of cooker. I've made myself a sandwich. Uh, I had a spam and red sauce sandwich. Just letting it settle and I am contemplating whether or not I am changing, but I don't think I am because I don't think it's big enough. But I thought if I could put all Jamie's stuff, all that and all that into under stairs, I could use that and that as draw space instead of having it all hung up like joggers, etc, etc. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. Hmm. I might do that actually. I think I am. Right, so we've got Jamie's stuff out. I'm just going to clean the bottom of this. Right, we have my dramas, my t shirts, my leggings, my jeans, and my. What are you call it? You need to dog up then. I am just watching Emmerdale. I have sorted the wardrobes out. So Jamie's clothes has gone to the top of stairs. Mine's come back into my wardrobe. The only thing that's hung up, hung, hung up is shirts, posh dress, wedding stuff coats my hospital top and I can't remember and then everything else is in drawers so the drawers that were Jamie I've got all the drawers by the top too that's got all his toiletries in. I'm going to empty all that though and I'm going to use that as something else. Uh, I'm going to put all Jamie's stuff on top at landing. All Jamie's stuff that were in his drawers is now on top at stairs. I am going to buy something for in the pan, in the what you call it, that where his clothes are so he can put his jammers his boxers, his socks, uh, toiletries, uh, just so that I can move all stuff on top of what you call it and I can put a microwave in bedroom and a, my toaster and you know everything else that I have to put in my room just to make it self-sufficient you know what I mean Anyway, 
I'm gonna watch Coronation Street. I have the dog upstairs. With the cone of distress. Not distress, but the cone of shame. Cause she keeps scratching her eye, don't you? Even though we have tried some new food on her and it's working. It's really, really working. Oh, our daddy's back. Daddy's back. She's just gonna come and dive on me. No, we've said nice, haven't we? We've said nice. If you're nice, you can have kisses. If you're not nice, you can't have kisses. Aren't you? Uh, see you soon. Right, we are now going to, I don't know if I can show you. Can I show you? Obviously I can. Bear with. So, we're gonna tilt you down. To the beef can you see the beef right we're gonna oh, oh look at that we're gonna stir it and then we're gonna thicken it up so we're gonna stir it thicken it up and i'll come back right seeing as though we are in the midst of the beef steak stew we're going to use the last bit of granules and then we're going to put in some bisto best stir it and then in this bowl we're going to make some dumplings right we're gonna let that thicken up just a little bit and now we're gonna make the Dumplings. So we'll get the scales. Right, so for dumplings, you need self raising flour. Wow, it's a good job that you don't need the back of it. So you need 100 grams of self raising flour. I need to write this down because that ain't got it on. That says homemade minced meat. But this one has got it on, so we'll keep this box. So you need 100 grams, which is four ounces of flour. So for every 100 grams, it's 50 grams of vegetable suet. Now, we use vegetable suet because we don't like the normal suet because it's very, very fatty. So I am going to use... Uh, Mm. I'm going to use 200 grams of flour and I'm going to double the oh, mixture so we're going to do 200 grams of flour maybe 300 grams So we've got 300 grams of self-raising flour and then we're going to use, what does it say? done 300 so we need 150 I don't know whether this is all right it smells weird so 
I'm going to use this one. That one fits there. I don't know about this now. I'm not gonna leave, I'm not gonna save it because I don't know how long it's been open, whereas I know that one's just been opened. We'll save that receipt. Uh, then we need salt, pinch of salt and cold water. So I'm going to use a bit of table salt, pinch of salt and then some cold water. Now it does say five tablespoons, but I ain't got a tablespoons on that. So I'm just gonna do it, I do it by eyeball anyway normally. So we're gonna just mix that around, get it all combined in. And the best thing to use is a fork. And then I just pour my water in, not at all, like, I've left a little bit. I probably will use it all, but I just eyeball it and then I just mix it in. If I need it, I need it. If I don't, I don't. Uh, probably I will. Might need a bit more than this in as well. So, uh, because you can, as you do it with your, the fork, it combines it better. Uh, I am just going to put a little bit more of water in. just to combine the bottom because I can always add a little bit more flour So, I've not used my hands yet, I've just used the fork and we've got it to that consistency. We will need a little bit of extra flour. And then we just make the little balls, the big ball into little balls and we put it on a plate. Right, so we've got a mixture like that. So we get a bit of flour and then we get a good amount because they do swell as well. So we're gonna have a ball like that because I just think that having a big dumpling is better than like a few little ones and just remember they do swell so, like I have like, really, I could get like triple the amount. In fact, I might do actually, I might make them smaller. In fact, we're going to, so we're gonna do, we are gonna do smaller ones, because they do swell.
Hmm. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to just make big ones because I think that's better than the having the little ones. So we've got two, four, six, eight. So it says each each hundred gram and fifty grams of thing does eight balls. So I should be massive. I should really, really, really swell. So that's two for Jamie, one for me, two for Scarlett, two for Isabel, three for Jamie, potentially. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna do big ones. Personally, I would just put a pie crust of it top of it, but Jamie wants to do it this way. All right, the oven's on, the taters is boiling. We're gonna put these in. Let me just show you so we can see. So we're gonna put them in the gravy. Don't come in. Don't come in. Right, it's now in oven. We're just waiting for potatoes to boil. I've turned the slow cooker off and we're just gonna clean up. Right, it's time to do the mash. I use this, it is called a masher and it is a machine that mashes the tape. In that we put a big dollop of butter and we're going to get some cream. Right, I like to use a double cream in the... Oh shit. Mash and we're just going to get some pepper. So that's pepper and salt put in, and now we're going to mash. Right, so that is the mash all done. We're going to put the stuff that's in oven back in slow cooker pot, just so that we can serve it out onto plates, well, bowls basically, because we're just having mash and stew. Right, so this is the Meatballs, no they're not, they're not meatballs are they? The dumplings. So dumplings in the stew with mash in bowls. Right, this is tea, mash, mint, uh, no. Mash, beef, stew, carrots and dumpling. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. It's been an eventful day-ish. Change round and everything. I am going to finish today's vlog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another.